From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some stories making news on this Friday, July the 29th. The Broward Sheriff's Office has confirmed one of their on-duty deputies struck a man with a cruiser in Pompano Beach. This happened in the 1100 block at North Ocean Drive early this morning. That pedestrian has life-threatening injuries. BSO's Traffic Homicide Unit is investigating the circumstances surrounding that crash. And shots fired during an argument on Miami Beach, and now police are searching for a gunman in that situation. This happened at a restaurant on Washington Avenue Avenue about 9 o'clock last night. One person was shot and taken to Ryder Trauma Center and is expected to recover. If you have any information about this, you're urged to call police. And federal agents are searching for two men who robbed a postal worker at gunpoint in Miami. The victim says she was delivering mail at an apartment complex on Southwest 2nd Street when two masked men walked up with guns, demanding she hand over a master key to the complex's mailbox. If caught, the two men could face federal charges. And a pilot program aimed at providing shelter for the city of Miami's homeless population was voted down by commissioners yesterday, but hours later, it was brought back to life and passed. Commissioners originally voted 3-2 to two against that pilot program with Virginia Key as a possible site. One of the no votes coming from Alex Diaz de la Portilla, who later decided to change his vote. Commissioners will consider other possible sites in September. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a good afternoon.